In this video, we're going to talk about loading scenes additively. And in Unity, you have the ability to have multiple scenes open at once. So why would you want to do that? Uh, there's actually a, a number of reasons. First of all, this allows us to split up very large levels and very large games into chunks and to load them piece by piece. And this has been done for a long time, um, especially with uh, giant world games like Skyrim or GTA. This is basically how they work. Uh, this also gives us the benefit of allowing multiple developers to work on a game without stepping on each other's toes. So each developer could be, or maybe each small group of developers could be working on a different scene, and that way we make sure we don't get conflicts with multiple developers trying to change the same thing at the same time. So there's definitely some benefits. Um, there are some issues. And the issues are that we can't reference things across scenes, for instance, in public variables. So if I have an object in scene one, it can't reference an object in scene two. So let me show you how loading scenes additively works. And first of all, we'll do it manually, and then we'll look at how to do it through script. So to load scenes manually, you load whatever you want your first scene to be, and then you right click on your second scene, and you choose open scene additive. And in the hierarchy, what that's going to do is it's actually going to show us each scene separately. So each scene basically gets its own hierarchy. And then, as I mentioned before, we have this issue where, say, the main camera one can't reference the main camera here because these are in ce different scenes and Unity has no way of guaranteeing that these scenes are always going to be open together. So we kind of have a barrier between what's going on in this scene and what's going on in this scene, even though they're loaded at the same time. So how do we do this in script? If we want to load things additively, how do we do that? The way that we do that is actually the same way that we load scenes non-additively. Um, we use this load scene method, but they contain an optional second parameter, which is load scene mode. And load scene mode has two options. The first one is single, which basically unloads any scenes and loads this one as a single scene. The second option is additive. It loads it in addition to whatever scenes are currently loaded. So we're going to use this additive, and we're not going to worry about this other thing because we're only going to be transitioning once. So I'm going to go ahead and unload this scene, and the way I do this is right click. If I unload it, it unloads the scene, but it still keeps it in our list. If I choose remove scene, it actually totally unloads it and we're back to having only one scene in our hierarchy. I'm then gonna go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna hit space. And now I have those two scenes loaded. And as mentioned in an earlier video, um, when things are marked as don't destroy on load, they are shuffled into their own scene. So that's where those appear. So we have our scene one, we have our scene two. Now we're getting this warning from Unity, this is spamming constantly, and the issue is that we have two audio listeners. Basically, we have two pair of ears in this scene. And sure enough, we do. On our main camera, we have an audio listener, so we're saying this is where our ears are. On our other main camera, we have an audio listener, we're saying this is where our ears are. And of course, we have two pairs of eyes as well, which is not good. So one thing to note, when loading scenes additively, when working on scenes additively, you only want to have one camera. You only want to have one character controller between these multiple scenes. So typically you're going to have a main scene that's going to contain your various like controllers and your logic and your characters and things like that. And then the scenes you load additively are just going to contain content. They're going to contain 3D models, um, you know, terrain and landscapes, uh, audio, animations, that kind of stuff, but not new character controllers, not, you know, new level controllers, things like that. Those are going to live in your main scene. And again, uh, the way that we can work with scenes is either manually, we can load them through the hierarchy by using this open scene additive, or we can do it through script at runtime.